Hi guys, welcome back to Homemaking with Heather. Today, I wanted to share something with you guys. It's been a minute since I've done a product review. This is something that I've actually needed, so if you guys don't think Google's listening, they are. So what I've actually been looking for is a temperature and humidity kind of monitor thing. Blue Sky C actually contacted me to see if I wanted to test out their new mini CO2 monitor. Now, if you guys didn't know, I have parrots, and this is exactly why I needed one of these devices. I need to make sure I know what their humidity is, their temperature is, and if there's any bad things in the air that this CO2 monitor is going to detect. So I do wanna bring you guys over here to meet my parrots. This one is Boop. She is one of the ones that likes to eat pretty much anything she can. She does not get along with the other parrot that I have. Thank you. Thank you, Boop. -boop. She's kind of a lazy bird. She doesn't ever want to step up. She just wants to lay on me. And then this one over here, she's in a timeout right now. This is Elma. She is my African Grey. Can you say hi, Elma? I don't know if you guys can really see her that well. She was being kind of a bad girl. You a good girl now, huh? You a good girl? Are you a good girl? Yeah, you a good girl. She does like to dance. If she hears clapping or music. Okay, maybe not today. I think she might still be angry that we put her in the cage. It's okay, she'll come out in a few minutes. But I do want to check the bird room with this new monitor. And I keep calling it a monitor, it's a device. So, yeah, it's really dark in here. Let's go ahead, check this out. Okay, so the humidity in their sleeping bedroom is 50%. And that actually is perfect, it's where it needs to be. And 75 degrees is nice in here. So when they're ready to go to bed, I can put them to bed. I know it's kind of, I don't think I ever showed you guys this before. So this is where I make food. It's kind of a mess, a little unorganized right now. And then these are their sleeping cages. And then they have bigger aviaries outside. Elma has a box of baby toys on the floor. She loves getting down and playing with those. Okay, so I do have a couple different aviaries. So I'm just out here next to one, waiting to see what it says out here. It does say the temperature is 82 degrees and it's 55% humidity. CO2 level is 520? Yeah, it's kind of bouncing back and forth between 500 and 520. Oh, and it's going down. This thing is pretty cool. I'm going to be walking around the house looking for different places to, 
test this out at. With that, let me go ahead and show you this mini CO2 monitor. Here's the box that it came in. So as you can see, it's pretty small and it has a metal clip. Now with carrots, if it's plastic, if it's wood, if it's anything that you love and hold dear to your heart, they will eat it. So here is the little monitor. The clasp is metal, which is a plus because I don't want it to get chewed up. It does have the C charging. So it's the same kind of charging system that I actually use for my phone. Let me see if there's any batteries in it right now. Oh, perfect. So it does have a little bit of a charge to it. This has a CO2 range of 400 to 5,000 ppm. This also has an indoor outdoor range of zero to 99%. And for parrots, I want that to be right around 40 to 60%. So if it's too dry in there, I need to turn on a humidifier just to get them a little bit more moisture in the air. They will get a little bit itchy. And as you can see right here, we are sitting at 88. So it's a little too dry in here. I'll probably have to run the humidifier after I get off of this with you guys. This is also going to have your temperature. Right now it's reading 80 degrees Fahrenheit. My birds should be anywhere between 60 and 80. They can tolerate up to about 85 degrees. This little device is going to be perfect for you to take in your car, to stick in your office, just to clip on your kid's backpack so they can take it to school with them. And when your CO2 gets too high, it is going to have a ridiculously loud and annoying alarm. That's what I've read from all the reviews. And that is perfect because you wanna know what's going on, right? So that way you can either get yourself out of that environment or do something to fix it. Thank you so much guys for tuning in. I do love doing these reviews with you and I hope you enjoyed them as well. If you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Thank you again for tuning in. Make sure you go down into the description bar below so you can check out your own mini CO2 monitor.